and welcome back to Star Stable, and wait a second, this isn't going to do, it's not the Christmas event anymore, oh my gosh, and I'm still wearing all of my holiday outfits, uh, alright, give me one second guys, there we go, it's back to the forest druid life for me, but hello everyone, and welcome back to my stable here in Star Stable Online, I know it has been so long, so just really quickly, if you guys are wondering, Siri, where the heck have you and all of your beautiful horses been, then be sure to check out the very important video that I put into our community playlist, because I truly do care about you guys, and I have been keeping you updated as I can on what's going on, and that is the spot where you can find all of the details. But today we actually have some really exciting new news because there are new magic horses! New magic horses in the land! Did you hear that everybody? All of my horses! Oh my gosh guys, that means that we have new additions we can possibly add into the stable which would be so cool! I'm a big fan of spotty butt horses and I'm a big fan of black and white horses and gray horses. It just seems that those seem to be some of my favorite types, but one of the other types that can really make me so excited to be able to explore our world is the magic ones. The ones that have almost no basis in real life, which is so funny. But how could you resist the beautiful pink rainbow like colored? I almost said scented and I'm not sure, but you know what? If you're a magic horse, you can be rainbow scented if you want. I don't even know what rainbow scented would smell like, so I need your guys' opinion to let me know. But I I love the magic horses and I love all of the other horses that represent so much of the amazing variety of equine majesty that is spread throughout our real world that many of you guys have ridden or actually have but look at them look at star chaser come on those spots and dots that bright pink mane then we have fire lord from the very first years worth of magical horses and right over here we have got our what not rose stone what on earth? Phantom Fall, you and Rose Stone have switched stalls again. This is Phantom Fall, who is our wandering, night-loving horse that so many of you guys have fallen heads over heels for. And how could you resist with beautiful blue coloring like that? He is just so amazing. And then, of course, we have my beloved Silver Secret, and we have our wonderful Autumn Promise, who may not be magical, but they are magical in my hearts. And so, of course, is our starter horse, Melody warrior and then we've got another magical horse amethyst mist and she is a beautiful purple horse also from the very first year's worth of magical horses hello my beloved melody warrior starter horse after my own heart and then finally we have got Echo Dreamer, who is our brand new addition and actually has secretly told me that she is going to be getting a new name soon because Echo Dreamer just doesn't fit her and, and I'm, I'm ready to admit it, but we'll be wandering over there to visit with her soon. And Apple Guardian, our green horse. So clearly I'm a little bit biased to some of the magical horses, but that's also because guys, once the magical horses are here, they are here for a limited time. Many of the other breeds varieties once you unlock the level will always be available for you to purchase but magical horses when they are in the land are available only for a limited time sometimes as short as a week so when they are available for sale from Gary who travels across the mountainy terrain here in Jorvik then you want to go and visit with him right away so that you can grab whichever magical horses you feel would be the perfect addition for your stable so Without further ado, let's go ahead and hop onto our beautiful Rose Stone, who is looking absolutely fantastic and who my heart has missed so much. Yeah. So let's go ahead. We're going to jump on her and then I will meet you guys over at, uh, let's see, I believe... He has wandered through the Valley of the Hidden Dinosaur, past Valdell Lake, and you can actually find Gary somewhere right in this area about at Fir Grove. So I will meet you guys in Fir Grove, looking for new magical horses to add into our stables in just a second. 
<laughs> I have to admit, it is so nice to be back on Rosestone, rushing through this beautiful green forest. Ah, oh, Fir Grove. I say this about every area, but I'm sure today Fir Grove is my favorite place. Look how beautiful and green this is. And if you come right down over here, look at how gorgeous the magic horses are. Oh my gosh, look at the rainbows. There's so many rainbows. I am staring at a bevy of rainbows. Oh my gosh, it's a double rainbow, a triple rainbow if that horse comes back around. Oh my goodness. You guys, hello, hello, hello to this crop, this wonderful herd of magical horses. And they look like they are actually the same style, a little bit, a lot smaller actually, than last batch of magical horses. Each time magical horses show up, they seem to have slightly different builds. This one is still huge compared to the first year's half pony magical horses. Look at the golden hues on you. Wow! What kind of food are they feeding you across the mountain range? Are we going to find out one day? Will we be able to go to a land of magic and wonder? I am ready. I am getting ready. Look at me wearing all of the druid outfits. Totally ready to ramp up my magic abilities so that I can go to the place that grows gorgeous horses like this. Oh my gosh. I love the gold tones to him. He really reminds me of the richness of like fresh wheat. Not so much like gold. I'm not really much of a gold person, but it makes me think about all of the beautiful places down over in Yarl or Jorvik stable area actually, and especially around Paddock Ar uh, Island and Yarlaheem where there's all of those wheat fields. That's what he makes me think about. So very, very much like an abundant harvest sort of like magical farm horse. But I have to say guys, Clearly, the star of the show and the one that everybody's eyes seem to be drawn to are these stunning rainbows. And this is really something special. I am actually super excited about the rainbows because if you guys remember last year, we discovered that my beloved starter horse, Melody Warrior, actually is the secret rainbow guardian of the stars. We have a funny little story that we started on April Fool's Day when she turned into a rainbow horse that she actually helps to um, protect everybody with secret uh, galaxy rainbows rainbow star racing skills. Kind of fun, perhaps mostly just stories that she makes up in her own mind, but it's really cool and it had to do with making her look like a rainbow horse. And then lo and behold, there's an actual rainbow horse right in front of my very own eyes. How could I possibly resist? Now remember guys, when you buy these beautiful horses, they are available not only for a limited time, but they're about 599 stars coins or thereabouts and so far there have never been a repeating type of horse so if you really really want one of these guys then pick one if you want all of them because they won't probably be back then totally do that but be aware that if you're like, I'm going to get all three, you might run out of star coins. So make sure to count carefully before you do it and buy the one that you want the most first. Also, this guy's mouth is purple inside. How cool is that? But all right, let's come talk to Gary and see if there's anything new that he might have to say about this, this herd of wild magic horses. Hey ho! Have you ever seen such a fine flock of fillies? The fanciest, most beautiful Yorvian wild horses that ever have set hoof on this side of the mountain, wouldn't you say? If you'd like to purchase one, I'm quite sure it could be arranged, but there's one or two little bits of tricky trivia you need to know before you buy. These trotting treasures are the kindest, loveliest, most colorful horses. Fast, they most certainly aren't. But what does that matter when they look like beautiful jewels? Oh, look at the spotty horse! <gasps> Also a huge fan of spotty horses. Oh, I'm just surrounded by beauty right now. Oh my goodness. Um, not really directed at you too, Gary Goldtooth, but I'm sure you too have a heart of gold, so you count as well. Another nugget of uniqueness is that they actually start to lose their beautiful colors when they're away from the wild and close to urban areas and civilization. No one knows why. Possibly to protect themselves. That would be really cool, like a little protective measure so that only people who are really cool and will take good care of them could possibly get close to them. 
right into a town on one of these lovelies and it'll suddenly look like any other horse. Poof! And that's true. As you guys saw inside of my stable, my magic horses have the bright colors, but all magic horses come with two coat colors. One bright, beautiful, jewel-toned, and one that looks like a normal horse. And whenever there's a ton of people around, you're in a city, you're on a busy road, then your magical horse will magically poof into a regular coat coloring of some type. As soon as you ride back out into the wild again, they absorb all the wonder and magic of nature, and their colorful beauty can come back to life. Not bad, huh? And that is so cool. But yes, that is how they work. We have played this rodeo a time or two before, and I would love to know which one of these three have you picked, would you pick, would you just get them all? Personally, I saw this beautiful rainbow horse and I just knew. I saw him, I knew this is where my heart was going to be because not only is this horse rainbows and not only do we already have a special connection to rainbows and rainbow horses through my beloved starter horse Melody Warrior and her special abilities, but the horse also looks like Rose Stone. It is a black horse with white frock and white markings all over that looks just like Rose Stone, like a distant cousin of Rose Stone is kind of what I want the idea to be. So Rose Stone is about to have a cousin. Uh, I'm going to make this one a female since most of our wild magic horses are males. And we are going to get a rainbow horse! I mean, look at the nose! Oh, and it's a double rainbow right in front of my face right now. This is so cool. And look at the makeup that she has put on. Oh my gosh, I love that idea. I want to go full rainbow too. I want to match my rainbow horse. I want to put on rainbows. I want to put on, you know what? You know what? I'm going to look for some makeup today. I never wear makeup, but I think that would be a really cool idea to have some druidy makeup, maybe even some rainbowy druidy makeup to go along with my rainbow horse. So let's see. Oh, look at you, you beautiful creature. Look at the eyes are even rainbows. Everything about you is rainbows. That makes me wonder if the joke about like unicorns leaving behind droppings of rainbows applies to this horse as well. If so, my stable keeper is about to have a very interesting time. Around Yorvik's less accessible areas, herds of free-roaming Yorvik wild horses can be found. This breed is thought to be particularly special due to the vibrant colors and patterns on the horse's body and coat. Colors such as blue, red, green, purple, and orange aren't unusual, and even the horse's eyes can be unusually colored in violet, red, or clear blue. The horse is believed to have emerged in symbiosis with the pan uh, pandroic energy flows, which are said to explain their unique coloring. Many also believe that the horses have a certain magical ability. Wild, uh, Yorvik wild horses are usually a little shorter and more thick bodied than most. This one is huge. <laughs> similar to fjord horses, but can also have other variations in the height of their withers. Their unique colors and patterns don't ever seem to show up when they're around civilization, but they display their strongest uh, but they display at their strongest when out in nature. Please note, the Yorvik wild ho horse is not no is not as fast as other horses, and that's so true. So this beautiful filly that we have here shall never be as fast as a lot of our other horses. So there is no stat boost; it's purely just for looks and their friendly personalities. And I think we're definitely going to go ahead and we are going to buy this one. I'm kind of excited. She reminds me a lot of an Aurora, for instance. Uh, so we'll see what kind of names possibly come up with her. Water Phantom. Oh, that's a cool name, but not quite what we're going for. Peace Crown, Diamond. Oh my gosh. Diamond Whisper? That actually works really well. <laughs> that actually works really, really well because Rose Stone, Stones, Diamonds, they're both the same. Whisper, I really like Diamond Whisper because if you hold up a diamond to the sunlight and it has a reflection, a really bright reflection, it's often like rainbows. <gasps> diamond Whisper, Diamond Top, Diamond Warrior, Diamond Berry, is there anything? I feel like Diamond Desire, oh my gosh. I feel like, oh, hello, people. Oh my gosh, there's a spotty butt horse and its butt is right in my face. Oh my gosh, and look to the left. Oh, so I'm just surrounded by so much beauty. Diamond Secret. Oh gosh, that's a really pretty one too. Diamond Whisper. Whisper sounds a little quiet. I don't get the feeling. Diamond Surprise, Diamond Strawberry, Diamond Spell. Uh, Diamond Wind, Diamond Wings, Diamond Wish. 
Maybe Diamond Wish Rose Stone. Is there something that we could go with that sounds kind of like uh, f Diamond Flower? Diamond flower would be fun. I wonder if we can go with something that's more like a like daisy daisy diamond kind of like rose stone and then what about uh, Jewel diamond or jewel whisper. I Kind of like the idea of diamond. Oh, but then she's gonna yeah like diamond whisper. You know what? I like diamond whisper It just has stuck it just has stuck to me because it seems so appropriate for her Since when you do hold a diamond up to the sunlight It's light ray like the rays of the light can cast rainbows and when she is she's not a shy horse So whisper may seem like a weird name for her, but when she is in civilization She does have a secret side a side that you kind of have to go to where you can listen to the whispers of nature to really be revealed. So I think we'll go with Diamond Whisper. I actually think I know it's a triple rainbow. I think that would be a pretty good name. Um, I, I was thinking it would be something a little bit more like Diamond Whisper, a little bit more Jewel Whisper. Uh, like, cause we have Rose, but Diamond, like Rose Stone, I guess rose stone is kind of like quartz and diamond champion child cloud dream mm, flame flower diamond flower would be kind of cool too but flower is a little passive so diamond whisper yeah diamond whisper all right we'll do it oh sorry i take so long to pick a horse name and i know you can change them but there's so much of the personality that can really emerge when you select a new horse but this my friends is not all after carefully reviewing all of the uh, available and as you can see you cannot buy two of the same horse which i think is a pity and a half but um and i think that's fun i almost wonder if somebody's just like standing there just to show off how beautiful. Look at that long, colorful tail. Oh my goodness. But I also want to get this golden horse because I really feel like he is a majestic horse of the fields, not representing the gold of money, not representing like the greedy um, grasping after finances the way some people might be pursuing, but rather representing the gold of a rich harvest. I'm going to go ahead and snag this beautiful wild horse as well. And then we will have added two, not one, but two new members to our family back at the home stable that one day we will have to go through and we will have to share the entire world of Jorvik Island with them and help them to be able to see it and go on adventures with us and hopefully raise them up in a very far away theoretical day to high levels. So even though they're slow horses, with a little bit of training, they'll be able to pick up speed and take us through on all sorts of quest and adventures. So let's go ahead and buy this guy. Cinnamon Bell, very cool. Uh, Cinnamon Rich, Crazy Orange, Coral Escape, Cinnamon Shout. Somebody really wants to go by the name Cinnamon. Uh, is there Cinnamon Harvest? Because I would, I'd be okay with like Cinnamon Harvest. I really want harvest. Cinnamon honey, hollow. Pie, pumpkin. Spell, wings. Uh, let's pop up. I really want harvest, like as the second dairy name, but that would be really cool. Cinnamon dancer, cinnamon flower, heart, hope, hurricane, hunter. Uh, main, master, mountain, mother, nova, pepper. <laughs> Now, here's a question for those of you who are long-term Star Stable fans and have been doing this for far longer than I have. How do you decide your names? Do you pick them out ahead of time? Because I really want Cinnamon Harvest, but I uh, clearly Harvest is not one of the names that I can pick. So, it, that would help. His name in my head is going to be like Cinnamon Glory? Can, can he be like... Well, you know, cinnamon's pretty good. Can he, is there something like wheat? Is wheat an option? Vanilla. We've got vanilla. We've got pumpkin. He really wants to be known by cinnamon something. Have you noticed? <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, there's copper as well. Cinnamon shout. Berry. Thunder. He is a horse of the harvest. And I love giving personalities to each of my horses because it really, really helps to have a lot of fun and just build your imagination 
and to really daydream as you play. But all right, I've spent enough time on this. I believe this is going to be Cinnamon Glory. So this is Cinnamon Glory and his name is meant to represent a healthy harvest. His normal name is supposed to be Cinnamon Harvest uh, or maybe like Gold Harvest um, or Gold Glory. <laughs> but I don't think I can pick Gold as a name, which is, oh wait, there, Gold, Gold Glory, Cinnamon Glory. Green glory, grass glory, gold. What about gold harvest, gold fortune, uh, gold hero? Ooh, I think we're on to something, guys. So, yeah, do you guys pick the names before you jump in, or do you just hit random until you go, I know the story of this creature? Because I am very much a fan of random generators, they can really give you unexpected twist and tails. Gold Father, Gold Feather, Gold Fighter, Gold Flame, uh, Gold Gazer, Gold Hill, Gold Hill, Gold Hope. Hmm, we're getting a little closer. Gold Joy, Gold Love, Gold Mother, Gold Mystery, Gold Nova, Gold Pepper. <laughs> there is that. Gold Pepper, Gold Rain, Gold Rain. That actually sounds kind of cool. Like Gold Rain or Gold River. Gold River. Kind of like a river of gold. That would make sense, gold river. Like a river of gold. Uh, it feels a little forced though. Hello, thank you, I love I love your horse too. I'm in the middle of picking a name right now. <laughs> oh gosh, all right guys. Well, we're gonna go ahead and we are going to go with gold, cinnamon, you know what? Cinnamon kind of fit him better, didn't it? Let's go with gold, cinnamon, cinnamon hope. Cinnamon Chaser, Cinnamon Ghost. Ah! This is okay. I take back Gold Lion, Gold Mountain, Winter Hill, Melody Ace, Hey Mother, Hey Mother. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, all right. Gold Glory. Um, Gold Glory kind of works, doesn't it? Doesn't it? It's kind of, but you know what? He wanted so badly to be Cinnamon. So let's find Cinnamon Glory. Cinnamon Glory, that works. A horse of the harvest. Phew, sorry that took so long, my friends. My gracious. All right, and we are back at my stable. And my goodness, that was a lot more of a challenge, not only to pick which new additions we would have here in my stable, but also what their names could and should be. Oh, did I ever learn a lesson today? Maybe I should definitely give some deep thought to what to name my horses and possibly look for the random name generators that you can even give your horses online before I go out and get them, because otherwise, suddenly you're surrounded surrounded by spotty butt horses and cornered into into the back of a whole bunch of people while you're trying to pick the perfect name. But I feel like Cinnamon Glory and Diamond Whisper are perfect additions to my stable and they also fill my stable to the brim of horses. We now have every single currently available stable in my entire stable like a stall in my stable filled with horses you guys and so many of them we need to take time to visit with and really be able to go on adventures and quest with and to raise their levels so there's not going to be any new horses for me for a while but that's just fine because we have so many adventures to go on i hope you guys have enjoyed looking over the current magic horses available remember they are only available for a limited time so dash down there if you are able to and pick them up. Hopefully you'll be able to find the horse of your dreams. And then I will see you guys next time as we continue on our quest list, which is huge and still needs to be pursued so that we can start exploring entirely new areas, which for me still includes places like the Harvest Counties, Golden Hills Valley, the Valley of the Hidden Dinosaur, and now the brand new addition of Mistfall. So I'm really looking forward to all of that and to really getting to show you guys the story of my horses and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye!